All right, nice person there. Nine, what are you doing? You agree with me. I only want to center today. Okay. Hello. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I actually have a situation that I'm going through currently in New York. Let me let me start with this. So you agree that there should not be a cash bail. Correct. Now, what if someone that you don't know assaults you and there is that cashless bail in New York, they get taken down, fingerprinted, released, and given my home address. How is that why, okay? Why were they given your home address? So, New York State, if I decide to press charges, so, for example, I was I, I live in New York. an AMC. I, I don't know if you're aware of that new law, though, that they passed. Um, it's called the Discovery Act. They amended it in 2020 or 2022 of April. Um, so if I give a deposition, um, they would basically hand over my assailants, my address and my information, which would be on the deposition because they feel that they don't need to hide that anymore. So that means somebody that I don't know who assaulted me out of like here nothing like it was just a complete random and it's so scary to think about that being why it happened and I don't know why I don't want to be putting words in the person's mouth but I don't want to assume things but to the best of my knowledge it's it's crazy because it's just I I guess do you agree with that fact that they should have the cashless bail put on them. Because I, I know you said that if it was a violent crime. Yeah, like if, it's a, if, it's a, if, it's, if it's a violent crime, I believe it should be up to a judge's discretion about whether or not that person gets released, depending on the, the facts of the, of the arrest and of the case. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, in my opinion, I don't believe they should be able to be free with my address i guess you could put it that way i opinion. feel like they were given your address wrongfully like i'm looking at the I discovery haven't... at the discovery um um law and it mm -hmm. seems like addresses are not allowed to be given and it seems like they might have somebody might have messed up in your case so i don't i don't know where you are in new york but i've asked two different counties this um because I, I was in Monroe County when this happened up by Rochester. Mm -hmm. And I went to a Wayne County hospital and there happened to have been a shooting um, at that hospital. Um, rest in peace, the person that got shot. Are you taking um, are you taking the person that assaulted you to trial? I have not done anything yet because I don't want the individual to have my address. So then, yeah, so then. But they wouldn't get again. What I'm reading here is that they wouldn't, they shouldn't have access to your address, even with so, the discovery law. Their lawyers might told... to send you, to send you like documents and stuff, but the person shouldn't. Okay, you should probably call a DA and ask the DA as well, because even the DA stated to me that they would get my address. Because I called the DA even, and I said, is there anything I can do to not have them my address? And they said, well, the most we can do is put an officer at your address to come by every hour, basically, and look over your house. Because, I mean, it's very terrifying to think that this happened to me and know that my address would be involved. And it's just because they would want to sorry i was sidetracked by the comments they would want to um put a restraining order against these individuals as the case is going so obviously the people would need the address for the restraining order and the information on my deposition they don't black that stuff out anymore is what i was told by not just one county but two counties and the public da so i, I feel don't like know. your public I, da I didn't read the because I'm reading the... I've asked lawyers and everybody has confirmed. So that's where I'm just... I'm dumbfounded by that law, basically. It, it's a brand new one. And I think even my fiancé wasn't able to find anything online. Because, like, I don't think they're really wanting to tell people about it. It, it. it was like... So when it happened, I called the cops. 
they got there and I, they're like, you want to press charges? I said, yeah, I want to press charges. Like, obviously I do. Like this happened because I asked somebody to please not talk during a movie and they got very upset and assaulted me afterwards. And basically they got it there and I'm like, yeah, I want to press charges. And then by the end of the conversation, they're like, well, I, I know that you want to press charges, but we have to disclose this to you with New York's cashless bail. They'll just be taken down, fingerprinted and let go. And then they'll get a copy of the deposition, which will include your address because of New York's new discovery law. And I'm like, you're fucking kidding me, right? And they're like, sadly, no. So, like, knowing that fear, I hope you can kind of understand where I'm coming from about New York State's cashless bail. Because it's a little ridiculous that somebody would be put in that situation where they feel like they can't even report something, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it It mostly seems like somebody is not telling you the truth. Oh, no. Or I, at least I, not, not reading gonna, the not bill gonna, properly. I'm not going to beat this dead horse to the end, but I verified these facts, so I know that it is 110% true. This law, I've asked a bunch of lawyers. I've even paid lawyers online for New York State to ask lawyers, and they say, yes, it is true. If you want me to DM you the information I have on that, I will, so that you can be aware of this. But it, it's sadly, it's disgustingly true. It's scary, too, because you wouldn't want someone to have your address in that situation. Like, I have definitely healed up. My fiancé might have to see a hand surgeon because of what we went through. So there's long-term effects. I might have to go to physical therapy for my back. It's just one of those things where if I pursue this, I don't want more harm to come to me and him. Yeah, I would just need to look into this more, into the law specifically. Uh, But I don't think it makes me want to change the cash bail system. I just think that... Like I said, people who commit violent offenses shouldn't be released on the no cash bail. They should remain in prison if they're caught committing a violent offense. And that's the scariest part because they would be released because of that cashless bail. Yeah, but again, that's not the type of cashless bail I would want to implement. No, yeah. And that's where I'm at. Like the, I, I agree with you on that. And then the other aspect of this is yeah, here I it is. Guess. Here it is again. Nothing in this paragraph shall require the disclosure of physical addresses provided. However, upon a motion and good cause shown, the court may direct the disclosure of a physical address. I think someone's not telling you the truth because it okay, literally here. says right here my, in the bill. I'm going to get my fiance here for you because he's the one that read this stuff. Hunter, they're telling me that thing does not exist for the um, this is act. current through 2022. Initial discovery for the defendant, the prosecution shall disclose to the defendant and permit the defendant to discover, inspect, copy, photograph, and test all items and information that relate to the subject matter of the case and are in the possession, custody, or control of the prosecution or persons under the prosecution's direction or control, including but not limited to, and then B, where was the one I just saw? Um, oh, where was it? Oh, here it is. Um, the names and adequate contact information for all persons other than law enforcement personnel whom the prosecutor knows of evidence or information relevant to any offense charged or to any potential defense thereto, including a designation by the prosecutor as to which of these persons may be called as witness, witnesses. Nothing in this paragraph shall require the disclosure of physical addresses provided, however, upon a motion and good cause shown the court may direct the disclosure of a physical address. So how is he pulling that up? But we've been told by at least 80 different fucking people that this is a thing. Huh? I don't know how you're getting that, but maybe if you could, just for shits and giggles, when you're not on live, call the Webster PD and ask them. Ask them about it. Because, I mean, it's... It's scary true with what I've been being told. Because like I said, 80 people at least have told me this. I mean, this is the the statutes, codes, and regulations. We go to Consolidated Laws of New York, 
we then go to um, Title J, which is Prosecution of Indictments and Superior Courts Plead a Sentence. Then we go to Article 245, Discovery. Then we go to New York Crime Proc Law uh, 245.20, which is the which is current through 2022, which is the initial discovery law. So, I mean, I I would, if you have a second, I would go to case text and like print this out and say to your lawyers, hey, this the law, the actual wording of the law says you can't give my address. I mean, I've 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 already showed them what I found online, and they disagree with that they like full-hearted the public da of rochester disagrees with you is the public da of rochester reading the bill or just trying to get you off the phone i i don't i, I mean i talked to the public da i talked to the assistant da i talked to another da within rochester because there's like four of them i talked to two um and then i talked to like the sergeant the lieutenant even and even the captain and all of them agree with this law. Yeah, because you would be they the process. You amended. would be the you would be the prosecution in this this case. The other person would be the defendant because you would be you would be re- well. It's not amended. This is current. This the one I'm looking at is current. So you would be the prosecution. The prosecution has to give over um, all of the things that I just said, except for addresses, like, unless the court deems it necessary. Um, which you wouldn't know until you started the proceedings whether the court deemed it necessary. Okay, so then the other thing is they want to put a restraining order on her as well. Okay. So that they would need my address to be disclosed as well. Well, that's any restraining order. They The person needs to know where they can't go. And basically with any assault, New York State automatically applies that restraining order. So given that, all of my information would be given. What? New York State doesn't automatically apply restraining orders. You have to, like, apply for a restraining order or an order of protection. They don't... That's not automatic. Hello? Hello? Sorry about that. I went to the link that he sent me. So the first portion is just saying that they they made it so there is no request for discovery. Discovery is automatic. So no longer the defense has to ask for anything. It's automatically sent to them um and then so there's names and adequate contact information so of both parties uh name and work affiliation all state statements by any person with relevant information which the statements would have their information on it the 901 recordings uh list of experts uh, physical and mental examination and reports. So you know how New York State has a FOIL request? Uh-huh. If, so say this altercation happened between me and you. You really, really wanted to know my information. You could go down to a public area and request. I mean, you can do a Freedom of Information Act request, but you can't get you can't get personal addresses from a Freedom of Information a Act FOIL, request. A FOIL request you can. Okay, but even, again, this is why I think you're being lied to by whoever you talk to, because you can even go to the New York State Senate's website, and in the website is the wording and phrasing. It's in Section C of the bill. Nothing in this paragraph shall require the disclosure of physical addresses, provided, however, upon a motion in good cause shown the court may direct the disclosure of a physical address. So, like, even in even the, even in the Senate's website. So, I think the people you called... We're just dickheads so trying to get you law, off the... F- where does that law state that if they literally take a copy and paste, so what they do now, and they, they don't physically, they don't go right over to you and say, okay, here's the person who's reporting you, here's their address. They give them a copy of my statement, which they do not block out anymore. Then you... The address here's what... Here, you know what you should do? 
go through all of that, let them give the address, and then sue the fuck out of them for breaking the law. Sue the state for all their fucking worth. Because again... What happens happens if I'm dead because of these individuals? Because the scary fact is they did this over me asking them to please be quiet during a movie. I mean, if they have already given your address, they broke the law. If If you're going for a restraining order or a order of protection, they have to give the address because the person has to know where they can't go, right? When it comes to this though, if they've given you if they've given your address, they've broken the law and you can sue them. I don't know what to tell you about the other stuff, but it's illegal for them to give your physical address or give them a PO box. I don't know what to tell you. It's illegal for them to give the address. Yeah. So if they do it, they're breaking the law. Of, as of yesterday, I did talk to somebody, which was the lieutenant, and he told me that I could put a PO box down, which is what I'm going to do. But to the other topic that I wanted to join this is, I I don't know how to put this, but because of the situation, I have been dealing with a lot of other stuff as well. Um, Because I promise you literally on everything in my own life that the only thing that I said to this individual, and that's what's scary about this fact is, hey, can you please be quiet during, I'm sorry for the pivot. I just don't want to take up a lot of this man's time when there are other people waiting. I'm, I'm having common courtesy. So I'm just trying to get to my points really. Okay. Um, but I only asked them to, Hey, can you please be quiet during the movie? And basically afterwards she got up at my face, started yelling, screaming at me. I don't know if it was because she was upset because I was white or what the intern was of why this transpired, or if it was just so much pent up anger that it just came out that she got told to be quiet. But I did want to let you know that. That what? I mean, it is one of his topics. Sorry. Everybody's mad now because it was a black girl. Um, what does her being black have to do with anything, though? Oh, everybody else in the in the comments just being. Well, because I, I think bringing up her race has nothing to do with, like, anything. No, right? I just, it's... one of your topics, um, white Americans do not experience racism. I wouldn't call it racism, but I would call it prejudicism. What, and... what was prejudice? You said something that made her mad, so she assaulted. I mean, she has anger issues for sure. But where does the prejudice yeah, come in? I don't in? know. I don't know if it was because it's one of those things where, because I, I grew up in a town where I there was this family who was a black family, and they told their friends they weren't. They told their children. Sorry, my cats are being awful. They told their children they were not allowed to play with white people because we were untrustworthy. So that's how they were raised in that town, and it's really sad to think about that because she was my best friend until high school. And then she's like, I can't be your friend anymore. And I'm like, Oh, but it's just one of those things where I saw that. And it's just like, well, what was the men? There's a lot of open questions about what was her really mentality? Was she mad because I said, Hey, can you not talk? And she got upset because of my color or was it, just a lot of anger issues which i would like to go with the anger issue part over anything else but you're just you're just you're just deciding that it's about color like it's there's a like we we know exactly why it happened she wouldn't have attacked you right had there not been an inciting incident so i don't know why now it's also has to be like but what if it was because i was white like what You're presupposing I, I, everything here. You're 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 putting all of that into the ether. I'm just dumbfounded by the whole situation and there's a lot of questions about it that I have personally. Shh. Like if I could sit down with her, I'd be like, Well, what'd you gain out of it? What was the purpose of it? And to address everybody else, how am I the Karen when she came up, up to me and was like If you want peace and quiet, sit your ass in your living room. That's a bigger Karen to start a fight over something like that. So. I mean, I just, I just think 
you you started talking about the person's race when race has nothing to do with the situation. I'm just saying, hypothetically, what if she was mad because I was white and said that? Hypothetically, what if she was mad because you had blonde hair? What does it have to do with what actually happened? Why are we trying to hypothetical something into a race issue? But also, I wouldn't have cons- I wouldn't consider that racism because it's not a system or practice. It would discrimination, sure, but that's about as far as I would go. I just I don't know how far it really went because, like I said, it was literally just random and out of the blue. I don't know what the mo like the mentality was or what was going on. It just well, it wasn't it, it random. Happened. There was an inciting it incident. Happened. It wasn't random. An inciting. So if. Okay. I'm not blaming so you. I'm I just have... saying like it's, it's we, like no, in, in a court of law, there's a very clear it's inciting stupid. incident into what led to the assault. It's stupid that that, that amount of an inciting incident would be enough to assault someone. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And I think it's fucked up that you got assaulted for that. And I, but I don't know why we're trying to make it a race issue. Chat, personally, if you go to the movie, I know that, and listen, I know that there are kids that cry I know there's people that say, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom or there's at least some type of common courtesy when you go to the movie, not to have a full blown conversation where everybody can hear you. There is that type of common courtesy that goes on in a movie. Am I correct? I mean, sure. I I would argue that that people are people are allowed to talk more in movies than they used to. But sure. In the movie, you should should sort of be quiet. But like. If I've had a long day and I really want to ask somebody, hey, can you please not talk during a movie? I'm doing it nicely. I'm doing it professionally. And there's no reason that it should have led to an assault. Uh, I'm just bringing that up for everybody that's calling me a Karen in the movie. Because it's definitely, I never, like, really got up and got the manager or anything. It's just... And I'm not the one who started the confrontation because I asked somebody to be, please be quiet. So. You recorded it too? Do y'all curse in this video? Will TikTok ban me if I play this video? I didn't know you recorded the incident. I kept saying, get out of my face, get out of my face, get out of my face. Um, You can't see it on the video. She punched me and then I threw a drink on her because she had punched me and was attacking my man. Make sure it's not your living room. Make sure it's not your living room. Make sure it's not your living room. Make sure it's not both of y'all living room. Make sure it's not both of y'all living room. Get the fuck out of Hmm. Interesting. And... I will say the reason I kept getting louder and louder is because I didn't want the confrontation. And also I was trying to be as loud as I could be. So the manager could hear me and, you know, call the cops. And the reason why the video cut off is because I tried calling the cops. And for some reason, my phone is having service issues, which (laughs) it'll say that it's calling, but nothing will ring, which was the most terrifying moment of my life. But in the video, I tried to be as dismissive as I could with my vocal aspect. I took the phone out. Um, 
I couldn't, I didn't know how to post things for three minutes because I'm new to TikTok with posting videos like that. But I did try to post the other one, but TikTok keeps taking it down. Um, and they won't put it back up, but I will try it again for everybody that's in here. Um, I mean, I don't really. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm not a lawyer. It didn't show the very beginning. No, it, it didn't show the very beginning part of it, which when she first started approaching me, her first words were to me as I was walking down the hallway was, bitch, if you want to watch a fucking movie, watch it from your goddamn fucking living room, you goddamn cunt. Those were her exact words. So at that point, I had then taken out my phone and pointed at her because I wanted evidence. Of what was happening, and you said she punched you, and then you threw your drink on her. Yeah, I did not have the best camera angle because you know I was being punched and shoved around. You might Which, not want to. You might not want to use this video then, because this video very much makes it seem like you threw the first, you threw the drink, which incited the incident. Like I mean, it doesn't you can see her like pushing on me and shoving me. Definitely, it definitely looks like she pushes you, but it doesn't yes, look like I she punches you until after the drink is thrown. Nope, she doesn't come near me after the drink was thrown at all. She actually steps away for a minute, and then her man comes up, grabs my man, pins him down, and then she drags me across the floor by ten to fifteen feet. I didn't punch her once. I chose you, not to fight. You did well. I hold on. Hold on. Throwing a drink would be con throwing a, a drink filled with ice would would still be considered a form of assault. Like even if you didn't and punch her, that, you still even, elevated the incident. Yeah, but she didn't need to punch me first. Again. So there's, there's I can, that as well. And I I will take your I, word for it, but from the video, it doesn't seem like any punches are thrown. It definitely seems like you're getting shoved. It just doesn't seem like any punches are thrown. I wish I had the opportunity to have AMC's footage of it and post that, but that's what I got. And sadly, I know that it doesn't show much, but the police have seen the part of it and definitely have seen that she punched me first. My throwing the drink is as they called it a automatic reflex defense because it was like seconds within myself being punched and I realized she was assaulting my man and I basically just turned around and threw the drink on her because I just was it was it I can't even explain it like I didn't really plan it it just kind of happened in an automatic reaction to me being punched I've never been in a situation like that I've literally never been in a fight all right, I'm just I'm just telling you you might not want to My use this video as evidence. My man stepped to her after she punched me. I would I would say go to AMC and see if you can't get the, or have like a lawyer go to AMC to see if you can't get the footage from them, because this one doesn't show any any punches. All it shows is the drink being thrown, which if you threw the drink after you're punched, absolutely that's fine. That's you trying to stop the conflict. I'm just letting you know what this video shows is different, or. The angle shown here makes it seem like it is different from what you are being, what you are saying. That's all I'm saying. So I, my advice would be to tr take, have a lawyer or the police go to AMC to get the actual video footage so that you can prove everything you're saying if you do take this to court. I mean, the, the police already have the footage over to them and the DA as well. Um, then do a Freedom of Information Act. Done. Do the freedom of, do a freedom of information act and get the footage as well. Because if the police have it, they have to give it to you. AMC will hand that open to a. No, if they've oh, given they it to the police and you do a freedom of information act, the police have to give it to you. Okay. If you do a freedom That's of information really act good to request. Know. I'm like the, I'm I'm new to all this stuff, so like obviously opinions are it's it's great to have outside voices if that makes sense because it's. This whole thing, it was definitely completely unexpected in my life. And AMC knows they're accountable. 
because they didn't do anything to assess the situation at all. They actually didn't even offer me ice when the situation happened. The manager locked himself in a room and didn't even call for legal authority during the entire situation. Um, I was definitely screaming loud enough that somebody could have heard me. But well, I don't think that makes legally. I don't think that makes AMC liable for anything that they didn't stop. So. I will give you a little background on the AMC, which they have recorded information about this because I've provided this to them, which I will post, but I don't want to post too much about it because I don't know if it's if it's going to go to this huge legal battle. I don't want to post at, like uh, uh, evidence that I shouldn't really, and I don't really want to hurt the AMC. My, my goal is to help the AMC because when the general manager first started there, and this is like eight, four, four, eight months ago around there. And basically he disclosed to me because there are a lot of incidences at this AMC where it's not a good AMC to go to at night anymore. Um, Cause there are a lot of assaults and situations that happen at this AMC, which one, the general manager disclosed to me that he was even punched in the face by a couple for asking them to leave. And ever since then, he has been begging for security, but higher up will not give him security. So there are known issues within this AMC. And I feel if they could have adequately prepared for situations, this would not have happened. How do you... If that makes sense how do you from that perspective. Adequately, how do you adequately appear for people getting into fights in your business? Have security, especially if your own employees are going to be assaulted. Make sure it's not your living room. Make sure it's not your Because it's not just a safety hazard for customers. It's a safety hazard for the people who are working there. I'm going to be honest. The more I watch this video, the more worried for your case I get. I mean, I've already, like I said, I've already spoken to the DA and lawyers and everything who have seen but i mean these the, the same lawyers that lied to you i wouldn't trust them because they didn't even know the state statute or it's you that doesn't know i'm reading it directly and off that, i'm reading it directly off the new york state senate's website so i'm is that article i'm reading it read directly you? off the new york state so senate website how am i reading it <laughs> what so is that article my fiance read you? Why are you getting mad at me? I'm not the one who I'm punched you. Mad. I'm just, I'm just explaining. Like that article is the same site. I'm not reading an article. Me. I'm reading the direct language in the law. I'm not reading an article. The article could be missing information. I'm reading directly from the law. You could look it right up. It says your address can't be given. Unless the courts decide that it's imperative to the case that it be handed over to the other side. Which in this instance, unless you're filing an order of protection, your address has no bearing on the case because nothing happened at home. It all happened at a, at a third party location. So that's why I'm saying, like, I wouldn't if it, I I wouldn't trust these lawyers that are that clearly have not read the the legislature legislature, who are giving you wrong information. I I actually would like it just for humor me, call call your local police department and ask them. Just so you can be proven wrong, ask them. Because they will tell you exactly. <laughs> then what they're I'm breaking saying. the yeah. law. Every cop in New York State knows this law now, though. Then they're That's every the cop thing. is. Well, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, what do the cops have to do? If it's a cop issue, this is a whole nother thing. You're talking about the Discovery Act. The Discovery Act only pertains to court cases. So if it's an issue then with the cops giving I your address, charges. that's different. As soon as I press charges, they will basically the court and everything process. They will mail my deposition to those individuals. And when that gets mailed, none of my personal information is blocked out anymore. According then to New York Then they're breaking State. the law. I'm reading you the actual wording from the discovery law. 
Nothing in this paragraph shall require the disclosure of physical addresses. That's written in the law. So if they're providing physical addresses, they're breaking the law. And I guess if it's some, literally, if it is breaking law, I guess afterwards I could sue them. Yes, you could sue but, the, you should, could sue the state for a fuck ton of money. It's just stupid that people have to lie in that situation because it creates a lot of issues like this because it's crappy. I guess you could put it simply as that because they should be able to be honest and not disclose my address, but they're willing to put people at risk like that. I'm I'm not showing anything about why they why they would be sending your address unless they're breaking the law. I I it's something I'm going to have to look into though. It's it's been something that I've been looking into for 3 weeks now. Because I've been just trying to mentally process everything that happened. And one step at a time, really. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I'm just, and I'm I just reading off the getting, bill. I will look into getting the video from the police because I don't. I have yet to go to the station and give a statement because of what they told me. Because I obviously, in anybody's right mind, I don't want my address out there. And that's the only thing that has been stopping me. I guess you could put it that way. If that makes sense. Um, I've been trying to find any way for my address not to be part of it. Because I don't want that. I don't want more harm to come to me and my fiance than what already did. Like I said, I'm not showing anything anywhere about them having about them being legally allowed to give your address to anybody. In fact, I don't even know if when I got hit by a car that like that they I have the address of the person that hit me. I don't even know if I have that. I would have to look and see if it's on the fucking. Well, because I mean, the I, thing. I also look at it this way, and I don't have this type of revenge. But God forbid, like, okay, so say. Someone shot someone's family member and that family member who got shot and killed gets the address of the other person. Right? Okay. Now, what if that family has enough revenge to go and hunt that person down? Because not only does do it in the police's explanation of it and everybody's explanation so far is not only do I... Or does she get my address? When she gives her statement, I get her address. Which I'm thinking for other situations that are out there in the world, someone might have enough revenge to go after that person. Which I'm definitely not a fighter. I don't want to be fighting. I just want to be in my own little bubble away from everything. But I'm saying hypothetically it's a... I can't do it anymore. Someone donated $30 to Booter. Uh, Greater Charlotte Rise donated thirty dollars. I, I need to. I need to move on. I can't keep. I can't. I can't. This is. Just, <laughs> I just don't have the fucking fortitude to be dealing with this anymore. Fucking <laughs> Christ. I'm playing the video on Twitter. Like. <laughs> I just, I'm saying I wouldn't use this video in a court case. If I'm trying to, I wouldn't use this video. Because what, this video is not good evidence to have. If this is the only evidence, don't use this video. Because this video shows a completely different story. That's all I'm saying. If we're, we're, we have the video up on Twitch. The video shows... I don't even know if she's still here, but I don't really care. The video shows... 
you possibly getting pushed and her walking away. It then shows her boyfriend pushing the lady and then the lady pushing him back and then a drink being thrown. This video ain't good evidence. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't have posted this video. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Make sure it's not your living room. I'm not doing this. Make sure it's not your living room. 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 Make sure it's not both of y'all living room. Back the fuck up. Get the fuck up. I'm not even going to take you, dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. Get the fuck off my fiance's face. Nothing had nothing to do with you. you don't have to Move! Nah, bitch. I'm going to the cops on your ass. Carla! You're going to take my fucking face. Carla! I will! Bitch, I will beat your ass I mean, the, the threat on the other girl isn't, isn't good, but... <laughs> I wouldn't use this video in court. That's all I'm saying. That's why the lawyers... Let me not talk shit. But that... <laughs> Wait, wait, I just want to confirm if she's even still watching. Because I want to say something real quick. Yeah, uh, that's why the lawyers told you that, because they watched that video and we ain't winning this case. <laughs> it's like, what? They watched that video and said, we ain't going to win this case. So, <laughs> like, it literally shows, bro, I can't. I can't. So the woman, absolutely confrontational. Walks up to you while you're recording there. Absolutely not okay. 100% not okay. You start yelling at her. Escalating. Someone pushes. You can't tell in the video who does the first push. Then your fiance walks up to her. Now gets into her face. And then she pushes him after he pushes her. And then you throw a drink. Then her and your fiance are like grappling, like, bruh, this ain't, this ain't the video. Oh, why did I like it? <laughs> I just liked it by accident. Wait, someone said on her account she's claiming SA too? From the same person? Stop. Please. I can't. Please. No, no, no. No, she's not. No, she's not. On what video? No, she's not. She definitely has a black eye, so there definitely was a further scuffle after that. That's why I said, that's why I said you should get the, you should get the AMC video in a reply. So I actually want to know how me and my fiance were the instigators in that situation when I... She replied to a comment and told the reason why she's claiming SA. So I just wanted to take a minute to reply to this. Um... Yes, my fiance told someone at some point to shut the fuck up. Imagine if. Well, one, I don't expect her to be scared of me because she. Was I really want to see this comment. Y'all should come to take to, to Twitch if you want to see to this. To address this in society today would be. Can you please. Wait, she's saying that she got. To address this comment, um, she got in my face, started yelling at me. Um, so you started yelling! Girly Pop! You were the one who started yelling! This is why the video is not good for you. The video tells a different story. Bruh. Bumping me. Putting her First of all, it's 2022. Y'all, we need to learn that when a, when a situation pops off, you pull out your phone and you don't start. Hello. Sir, you owe me $15 refund for what, Jasmine? Oh, was that you, Jasmine, that sent the... Yes, I did. I literally got the thing and then booted her. What are you talking about? If your if your thing was Greater Charlotte Rise, I absolutely booted her. Yeah, I booted her once I saw it. But yo, this this is not, this is not looking good for you, sis. So I actually wanted to come on here and let you know that she did not. She was yelling. Um, she wasn't in the video. She wasn't yelling. This is what? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Wait, Jasmine, you in here? This is the wildest shit I've ever seen, bro. Yo, so 
Let me explain. So when Thank I you, paid the 15, after she started like lying really obviously, I was Thank like you, in the comments on TikTok going, I paid the $30, boot her, boot her. <laughs> and people were like, somebody pay it. And I was like, I paid it. No, sometimes sometimes it just takes me a second to actually see it because my uh, cash app and doesn't like send me a notification. New so. thing. If y'all are going to pay for the boot, go to Twitch and be like, check your cash app. That, yeah, usually people will tell me to check. I felt like it was 15 minutes of pain. This <laughs> Bro, have you watched the video? Yeah. It I... <laughs> The video don't help her situation. <laughs> what was killing me? What was killing me with this story is when they first came up, they said SA. When they first came up, that's what they said to you. And then the next thing was I didn't file a report. And then they were like, "Oh, I read it, but I didn't read it." So, like, as I was listening to that cognitive, like, it was just breaking my brain that early on. Then when she was like, oh, my boyfriend read it. And now she was like, then she was like, oh, no, he read an article. And you're on the the government site. And she's like, oh, but this is an article. And people don't understand. Police are allowed to lie to you. Police are allowed her, to tell her, you untruths. That's a legal thing in every state. Her first video on the situation says this, like, it's her be, which again, I don't think she should have been assaulted, obviously. But it says this was something that happened to me and my fiance at an AMC movie theater called Webster AMC 12. The girl did this all because I asked them to please not talk in the movie and they jumped us after the movie. No, they jumped you because you threw a drink at her. I also want to say, though, that is really the fault of not being intersectional. Right now, there's a boycott against AMC. They closed that hospital in Georgia. Don't go to AMC. <laughs> I just the <laughs> and then why did she try to make it a race issue? Then she tried to make it a race issue. She was like, "Well, I'm just saying, what if she jumped me because I was white? She jumped you because you threw a drink at her. What are you talking about? There's a clear the problem. Was in the video that I saw, it was the fiance that pushed the woman. That's the I see the same thing." I see this now. There's obviously an initial shove between her and the the woman that she claimed is um, the woman that allegedly I'm assaulted sure her. I don't know who did what because you can't see it, right? So you don't see who did what. That's the international black woman. You don't want this. But then her husband literally shoves her, gets in like pushes her, so she shoves him back to get him out of her face. Then she throws a drink. <laughs> Right. The re okay, so, like, let's be honest, true. Like, t seriously, I saw that lady, and I don't know if y'all saw that lady, but if that lady went to a cop and was like, this black woman, because you know they brought up race when they told the cop, hurt me. If that black woman had really done something, that black woman would still be in jail right now. If the police could have got her, they would have got her. Also, on lady, God, I want to call my local DA and, and see if the <laughs> the Discovery Act means they get your ass. Because she's like, well, I, they're all... the Discovery Act means. You a know that. I know that. I'm reading the legislation for it. If you file a restraining order, yes, the person who is being restrained must know where they can't go. They have to be told an address. You can't... It was just so bad. It was, but we also, have to fix our education system. I but also, know. Jasmine... I, why does she think this woman's gonna now get a gang of people to come jump her? Like, come to her? I get it. I get it. But, like... Because if one woman beat both of them... Because that's what happened. This one woman beat up both of them. <laughs> and and then that woman's boyfriend got them was like, I guess I'm gonna help my girl. And then commenced to assisting with the ass whooping delivery system. And now they just assume... There's going to be more people. Also, also, everybody in the comments on Twitch is like, we'll call the lawyers now. It's a Sunday, guys. What law office is open on a Sunday? <laughs> no. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> but, but in truth, like, for real, like, if you, you have to be honest about the role that we play in the delivery of, a, of an ass whooping, right? Like, there was clearly in the video an opportunity for no violence. The woman did the gesture. Get out my face. The comments. Leave me alone oh my from God. more than 15 feet away. She got ratioed as fuck on this video. The com One of the comments looks like you asked for that smoke. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Oh, my God. What do you expect oh. AMC to do when your fiance and yourself are the instigators in this? 
I just want to say it's a very nice Twitch stream, you guys. The only thing it's missing is caption. It's beautiful. Oh, I don't know if Twitch does auto captions or not. No, I have to for my Twitch stream. I have to actually put the, the captions on the screen. I'll email you the website if you want to use it. Oh, is there like a? Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I would love for everything to be ADA accessible. So I got you. But I'll go back to let you get your next victim. But oh gosh, <laughs> sir, I know when I pay my next thirty dollars, they hit you up and be like, "Boom, check your cash." <laughs> that was painful. Oh god. That was wild. Thank you for your service, though. You have the patience of a saint. <laughs> of course. Thanks for pop stopping by, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A, bro. This shit is fucking wild. <laughs> Girly pop. This didn't go the way you expected it to when you requested. <laughs> Girly pop. Oh, my God.